very excited to try a girl's cut. I'm so excited to try their lip products. I've seen these swatches, I've seen people using it. I was just like, oh my God, that is just a, such a cool brand. It's, it's like a clay dose. It has its very strong personality. I think girls cut still having its very, how to say, brand identity. It has a clear vision and target and their product design, which I find very, very encouraging. I bought it on sale. So when you get two lip product, they give you a free lip oil. So I have two lip oil. I tried today. It is oil feel, but a very light oil. It's more like an essence. So it's quite comfortable. Uh, in terms of lasting, I don't really know. I will test it out a little bit more and leave my feedback in the description box to go there and check it out. And the lip oil has a little bit like a very, very light golden dust in there. But you don't really tell when you apply it on the lip. That's a star from this too. Very, very cute. They're plastic, but very, very good quality, good weight itself. This too are the lip mud or the liquid lipstick. What I've seen people raving about it, and why I see the swatches, I put the swatches and try on the lip picture over here. Have you guys seen my video of uh, YSL new, the slim black lipstick, new colors? Those two colors have similarities of them, which they all have a very beautiful dust glitters in there, which really enhance the finish. This one is number... Oh, they don't have a number. They have the, the, the Chinese name. I will write them in my description box. But basically those two colors are very daily wearable. One is more towards petal pink and one is more warm tone, um, maple leaf, brown red based color. And can you see the fine glitter in there, the reflection? Ah, you can see, right? It's a beautiful glitter in there. It looks very nice on the swatches. Let's see whether it delivers the same on the lip. This is the applicator. Of course, I literally just received them. So today is first impression. Pigmentation is good. Can you see the beautiful sparkle on her? This one, it, this is sparkle in comparison to the YSL one. It is way much more visible because of the glitter's reflection. This is brown based Lipstick is more has green reflection glitters in there, but the combination is really, really nice. Based on first impression, I like it because my concern was any this type of lip product that with glitters in there, if you don't do it well, it will look cheap and cheerful, which I tried other brand has a similar product. I have to say this one, I think they designed well of the glitter size, which is very, very dusty, and the reflection, which actually merge well with the base color. It's nice, I like this color. In terms of the details, the base color, the formula is literally like liquid lipstick. It is very smooth, most importantly, very, very lightweight. It doesn't sink into the lines, but it's not kind of a smoothing out completely, which is very common due to the formula itself. But I think the glitters kind of helped not to really emphasize your, your lip lines. Let's see whether it transfers. This does not transfer. Not even the glitter. This is impressive. Not even the glitter. It maintained so well. Let's try this one, which is more towards a paddle color. Oh, huh? 
very easy to be removed. There is no stain on the lip and this doesn't transfer. This one, the difference is the glitter. The base the formula is exactly the same like lip mod, the liquid the lipstick, but the glitter is way much more subtle compared to the other color. The other color is very obvious to see. This one is very kind of even finer dust in that you pretty much can ignore it unless you are facing a spotlight. Let me do this. Hmm? Can you see here? To be totally honest, I was actually attracted by this color when I see the pictures, what they presented on their TikTok account. But I think in reality, the dust in this color is way much more subtle. But I quite like the color. The color is very soft and has good balance of paddle as well as a little bit more warmness in there. Therefore, it doesn't look too luminous or towards Barbie pink or too smoky purpley pink on the lip. I think it's balanced very well. Even your slightly darker skin tone, I think this one definitely works on you as well. And I just had a look at this color under a spot lighting in my toilet, which is quite a strong lighting there. It has a similarity, it's, it looks much more closer to their TikTok account, but the still is the, the sparkle, the reflection of the dust. I would appreciate if it could be slightly stronger. My microphone ran out batteries and my last part, which is about the lip glaze and recorded without sound. So let me redo everything again. We move on to the lip glaze. Those two colors are special. They are not the usual colors that I would normally go for, but I think you guys could be a little bit bored with the typical Maggie's color per se, which is a more, you know, coral, nude, or brown, red based. So this time I try to be different. And I have to say, if you like some special makeups, not necessarily needs to be day-to-day -day wearable makeups, Girls Cut is another good, good brand to consider. And it's for the price light itself, it's really good. Okay, let's have a look at those two colors. One is a little bit more normal. <laughs> this is more like a plum purple coral base color, but with glitters in there. The glitters are very, very fine, dusty, and it is more green purple reflection. And this pure muddy color. Mm -hmm. chocolate color is just a glaze itself there is no glitters in there i do for the normal color first this lip glaze is not full pigment it's about 20 to 50 percent transparent so depends on your own lip color this this lip glaze will show different colors on your own lip when you smell it it has Mm, typical lip glaze smell because flower nose they all have similar type of smell it's not horrible it's very mild after you swipe on the lip it's pretty much gone and you can see the dust in there it's like green purple pink reflection i think this unusual color turns out better than i imagined because originally i thought it was going to be really really gray but as it's not full pigment it's a little bit like 20 percent transparent it become a more um berry plum color compared to the swatches on the hand you see the difference so when you guys choose the colors from the website, do bear in mind your own lip color. The formula is very nice. It's very lightweight. It's a typical glaze 
uh, formula itself, but it's not sticky. It's quite moist. It's more like essence applied on your lip, and I really, really like the applicator. It's fairly bouncy, good size. And very very soft when you apply on the lip. It's it's enjoyable. It's a good experience of using it. With this color, it's a usual color, or it's going to be a color that I would buy normally, not for the video. It's a no, but I would say it will definitely go so well with some of you with probably more cooler makeup. I think for me, it will be only a um, special occasion color, not to events, but you know. Halloween, for example. Oh, wait until, let me show you the other color on my lip. Will be even more <laughs> Halloween-y. <laughs> this color in particular, just bear that in mind, is a little bit patchy. I try to even it out a few times and also see it does like sink into a line inside of your lip. If you just apply on yourself, especially look at the edges, it looks uneven. And this color is just a little bit too cool to wear, at least for me. It's not only about the personality clash, it's also about, <laughs> I think, skin tones clash okay to see if it transfers nothing on the hand see now transfer now no color come off and it does has a impact on your reflection it gets reduced each time so quick summary on the first impression the lip glaze does not transfer you just need to live slightly longer time probably a minute or two more it is not full pigment you may want to have some base or lip liner before you use this lip glaze they have so many unique cool style colors in this collection Personally, based on the first impression, I would actually recommend more of this liquid lipstick from the formulation, performance, and the most importantly, the formula and the color design itself. Those two colors, I really, really like it. The formula itself is non-transfer, but easy to be removed. There is no stain colors in that. This one has a little bit stain colors. So you guys can see this. And because of the dusty, lovely reflection glitters in there it actually same as the YSL one it's enhanced the outcome for the price itself this brand is definitely definitely worth its recognition so I hope you like today's video if you do do click the like button and the most importantly to subscribe my channel down here I will see you on my next video